sorry, quite out before I got to the final quotation. So the final line of the poem is, but now I check it out my own history, carving out my identity. And the question I ask is, what is the speaker's attitude in this quotation? Um, but there's a little bit more to say than just that as well. So firstly, his attitude is quite liberated. Despite the oppression, oppression means where you've been treated badly by a group of people or by others. Um, so despite his oppression, despite the control and manipulation of the British education system and the British colonisers, the British government, he's able to work it, to find his identity, to work his own history out. Um, and he feels empowered. He feels like he's got the ability and personal strength to do that. So the speaker comes across quite empowered, liberated and strong in this quotation. He says, it's checking out my own history, it's carving out my identity. Now the word carving, which we will look out, look at more in method, because it's keyword analysis, but carving suggests that something is difficult, it's like a bit of an art form. So it's not an easy thing to do, but because the speaker's obviously got quite a resilient and determined attitude, he's willing to work hard um, to embrace his own cultural heritage. This is a really interesting quote because I think it links to the power of culture um, and this idea, obviously, culture is shown as a powerful influence in kamikaze as well because it's ultimately the Japanese culture and the belief that being a kamikaze pilot is honourable that initially pushes the kamikaze pilot uh, to complete the mission. In this poem, culture is also shown as quite powerful because this Right, this the speaker in this poem has had white culture forced upon him, um, due to due to the British Empire and due to the British education system being being forced onto him, um. So cu culture is shown as having a powerful effect on on the individual in this poem as well, um. However, it's only really shown to be as powerful as the individual will let it be, and that's the same in Kamikaze really. Because initially in Kamikaze, the Japanese culture of honour has a huge impact. It has a profound, powerful impact on the pilot. But later, it doesn't. Later, nature and the past and memories have more of an influence on the pilot's behaviour. It's a bit like this in Kamik um, in Chakadami history. So initially, having white culture has a, a powerful effect on the speaker. Um, white culture being imposed on him makes him angry and frustrated. Um, and you can see that he feels wronged by it with the images of being blinded to his own identity. By the end, he kind of rejects rejects that white history, that white culture, and he wants to embrace his own cultural heritage, his West Indies, his Caribbean cultural heritage. Um, so that shows that people will all, that culture is only as powerful as individuals individuals will let it be. His own heritage, his Caribbean culture, has a powerful effect on him by the end of the poem, because it gives him his well, his sort of affinity with that culture is what empowers him and liberates him to check his own history out and to explore that culture. Whereas he rejects white white culture, he doesn't let it affect him anymore. It doesn't. Um, it does. It, it no longer it seems to influence him by the end of the poem and he's going out on his own to embrace his own culture, his own heritage, his own background. Um, so ultimately, the end of the poem, the most powerful um, element is, is the speaker himself. It's a poem really about the power of the individual and how if an individual is resilient, resilient enough, determined enough, uh, feels empowered, has the, has the strength of character, the individual can overcome institutional oppression, they can overcome um, and defy the power of authorities like the government, the empire, the British education system, despite all of these factors. Um, the speaker in this poem is empowered by the end to celebrate his own heritage and his own culture. And I think it's a really good quotation. And I think ultimately it is a poem where culture is shown to have a powerful influence in some ways. Um, I mean, at the beginning, white culture has a powerful impact on him. Later, it's um, his own West Indies Caribbean culture and heritage that seems to have the most powerful effect on him. But ultimately in this poem, the most powerful the the thing that is by the end seems to be the most powerful is him himself, the individual. And I think it really is this poem an exploration of the power of the individual um over the institutions.